Hello everyone, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully you're all good, hopefully you've had a good start to your weekend. Last weekend of spring break and St. Patty's Day weekend, then all you youngsters get to go back to school next week. So I hope that your weekend's starting off right. Uh, I'm starting my weekend with a little video here. And um, as I mentioned in my last update video with my green bottle blue, I suspected that it was in pre-molt because it's been a lot more active in webbing in the last week since I fed it. And of course, I know that Chromatopelma cyanina pubescens is known for being a prolific webber. And this one does some webbing, but the only times that I've noticed it getting really active with webbing is when it's getting in, when it's going into a pre-molt. So I'm going to make a video here. What I'm going to do is offer a mealworm or two, and then this video is going to end up one of two ways. It's going to be a feeding video, or it's going to be a pre molt update video. Because as you all know, all of these behaviors mean nothing, because sometimes these spiders just want to act the way they want to act. But the one way to determine whether they're in a pre molt or not, especially with the tarantula like a green bottle blue, the you know, only time they're going to reject food is in a pre molt. So, without much more delay, I'm going to stick a mealworm in here and let's see what kind of response we get. Okay, obviously not pre molt. But very hungry, as you can probably see. It would have been more interesting with a roach or a cricket, something that had a chance to run, but still, good takedown. The way it grabbed a hold of that one, I'm suspecting it's quite hungry, so I'm just going to go ahead and maybe throw another one in here. Usually it won't take two at once. It'll hold on to one for a while, let the other one wiggle around, and then of course when I turn the camera off is when it will grab the other one, but let's see what happens if we offer it another one. Sorry for the sniffles, guys. It's springtime and allergies are starting to kick in. been working outside all week. And it's going to prove me wrong and take the second mealworm. Nice. Excuse me. And now I've got a third out here, which is quite skinny. I think that might help. I really think that this spider's getting ready for a pre molt, so I'm hoping that this good heavy feeding will go ahead and push it into a pre molt. You know, we had the, my heart bacterial pulchropies molted yesterday. So I will have a feeding video of it. Yeah, I can't get a hold of this damn mealworm. I will have a feeding video of the heart bacteria pulchropies next week. And hopefully by that time I'll be reporting to you that this spider is either in pre-molt or has molted. More than likely just a pre-molt. But here we go. Last mealworm. Oops. And of course it tumbles far away. And it quickly gobbles it up. So. That just tells me that this spider is super hungry. Okay, no pre-molt. Sorry if the uh, feeding video is not super exciting, like I said, with a roach or a cricket or something like that. It would offer a little more action, but we get to watch my beautiful boy, suspected boy, feeding. And he apparently is very hungry. Look at him go. So one thing I love about the green bottle blue tarantula Besides their beauty, is their feeding response. As I mentioned earlier, they do not reject food unless they're in a heavy pre-molt. Otherwise, they will eat and eat and eat. Plus, they're very docile. This one has its mood swings, of course, but it's just so chill most of the time. So, I really love it. I'm glad I made this uh, choice as my first tarantula. And of course, my second one, I decided to go with an old world. But from what I understand by doing my research, a chill old world. So hopefully we'll, we'll get some views of it next week, post molt and feeding. That's all I've got on this tarantula. I'm going to let this guy feed and get fatter. And hopefully, like I said, this will push it into a pre-molt. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, give the thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Subscribe. Thanks to all y'all for watching. God bless. Good night.